Good morning. Today I wanted to do a review on this new Bluetooth amplifier board that I just got in from eBay. It's marked DWCT14 and um, this is a um, Bluetooth receiver with uh, two 3 watt mono amplifiers built into it. Um, and so what how this board differs from other Bluetooth amplifier boards that I've been looking at is that the Bluetooth signal um, as it's coming out of the Bluetooth receiver is mixed to mono and each one of these output channels puts out a 3 watt mono signal. So where this um, could be useful is if you are doing a um, a single speaker Bluetooth amplifier or Bluetooth player and I'll show you an example later on of, uh, of how I of how I'm going to use this um, so this thing is powered off of 5 volts so we can run it off of a 18650 battery or a power bank and uh, again it puts out um, it has two channels on the output and each channel is putting out a, um, a mono signal so let's go ahead and have a look at the components on here. All right, uh, there are basically three main chips. Uh, this this big chip here, which is um, which is the Bluetooth uh, chip and controller. Uh, then there are two small amplifier chips here as well. Um, so in terms of powering this, uh, let's look at the power first. Uh, power DC 5 volts comes in here, goes through a, uh, a diode, so there's polarity protection in this, then goes through a smoothing capacitor over here, and then gets distributed to the board. Now the audio signal uh, is picked up with this antenna. Uh, it's then routed into this Bluetooth controller board and then the signal is mixed and sent to each of these NS8002 amplifiers. Now the data sheet on these NS8002 amplifiers um, states that these will put out 3 watts maximum on a 3 ohm load. Uh, it will handle up to 8 ohms comfortably. Um, and these are um, both monoblock amplifiers. So the stereo signal comes out of this control chip, is mixed together, and then the mono signal comes to each of these two amplifiers. And then these go through different connectors to, to two different speakers. All right, so you're able to drive two speakers with this board, but the signal coming out of each, out of each amplifier is a mono signal. All right, well, let's go ahead and um, hook this thing up and uh, see what it sounds like and how it performs. Okay, we're back. Um, we've got this unit set up uh, on the bench attached to this uh, computer speaker um, and uh, we're powering it by uh, 5 volts from the uh, DC power supply. So let's uh, turn this on and see what this thing does. Well the quiescent current on this is drawing about uh, about 70 um, milliamps so that's pretty good let's go ahead and um, set this up on the Bluetooth and it comes up as DWCT14 go ahead and pair that <laughs> that off before I get a copyright hit and let's go to some royalty free music well 
Well, that sounds surprisingly good. Let's go ahead and turn the volume down and see what the uh, background noise is like. Okay, I've got uh, the fan going on the DC power supply. But I don't know if you can hear that, but there's just a tiny little faint buzz coming out of the speaker. It's actually, actually sounds really good. It's drawing about uh, 200 milliamps of current during the loud parts of the music. See the chip. The chip's a little warm, but it's not. Uh, it's not horribly hot. So I think this is going to be a good little amplifier. Okay, um, now we're back. I, uh, I was really happy with the way that uh, Bluetooth amplifier was working that I went ahead and uh, made a little cigar box amplifier out of it. Um, it's just got a little 3 inch speaker, an on off switch, uh, LED light. Uh, if you look inside, um, we have here, we have the speaker, a um, little power bank, 5 volt power bank to power it. Um, little recharging port here and uh, so I'll show you this there's the amplifier mounted inside um, so let's go ahead and uh, see what the sounds like Sounds pretty good. Just control the volume of it with the uh, with the phone. All right. Now let's go ahead and uh, see what the range of this thing's like. This is where things all fall apart. It works really well when the Bluetooth player is right beside it. I'm moving it back. Now there are some obstructions between me and it. I have it sitting on top of a sofa, so it's not a direct line of sight, and you can see that it starts to fail. I've got it up against my uh, against my pocket, and this thing fails completely. All right, let me go ahead and try something, and I'll be right back. Okay, 
So I'm back. Uh, this is what I did. I went ahead and um, just soldered a little wire to the antenna, to the end of the antenna here on the Bluetooth board. And uh, we'll just have this sticking outside and we'll see if this improves the reception any. Nope. Doesn't seem to make one bit of difference. This thing really has to be close to this Bluetooth for it to work. All right, well, that turned out to be an epic fail. Um, you know, obviously I can't, uh, I can't sell something like this with such poor reception. Um, so I was holding out a lot of hopes for this amplifier. Um, but the range is just really bad on it. So I really can't go ahead and recommend it. Um, so take that for what it's worth. I mean, uh. I really was hoping that uh, I'd found a nice little 3 watt amplifier that I could use in a mono application, um, but it turned out not to be the case. Alright, I hope you found this helpful, and I'll talk to you later.